Those that are unaware of history are destined to repeat it. We've all heard versions of that uh, quote before. So as a vintage code book collector and code nerd, I thought I'd share with the internet a little bit of a story of plumbing code organizations as told through the only code books that I have. A um, lot of holes in this history, a lot more information to be had. I encourage any comments uh, in the comments about this and help me build on this knowledge. So building code organizations. Obviously, we know that uh, there were or plumbing codes, excuse me. There were a lot of plumbing codes done by individual cities. Like here we have uh, Virginia plumbing code extracts. Here we have a plumbing code from 1961 by the uh, Colorado State. And here we've got a plumbing code by City of Pueblo, Colorado from 1965. So we've always had cities making their own codes. I'm not going to talk about that. We'll move these aside. I'm going to talk about the main organizations creating model codes. And I got this stack here to go through. So one of the oldest ones I have is this National Plumbing Code. And this was developed by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. So this is the 1955 edition. On the inside cover here is some really good history that talks about um, all the different players involved with this starting back in the 1920s. Um, and lots of good reading here leading up to the publishing of this in 1955. But this is the only plumbing code that I have that I've even ever seen or heard of that's by the uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineers. So they did at one point create a plumbing code. Um, next up from there, I got the 1958 edition of the UPC. This though is not by IATMO, this is by the Western Plumbing Officials. That was IATMO's name prior to becoming IATMO, I believe. IATMO being the International Plumbing and Mechanical Officials. Um, so this was the oldest, this is the oldest I have of the UPC, and I believe this one is the eighth edition. So that means counting back eight times times three, 24 years, um, the first UPC goes back quite a ways from this. I just don't have that. So then I jump six years. It is a three-year cycle here, just like we're used to with codes, um, but I don't have the 61. So here we jump to the 64, still Western plumbing officials. Um, then... When we go to 67, we notice a difference. Still the Uniform Plumbing Code, but look, International Association of Plumbing and Mechanical Officials. They've changed their name. I believe that's what happened. Again, I welcome any comments. Um, I came into the codes in 1997 UPC, so or UBC, so I am happy for some of you elders to fill in the blanks. Then if we go three more years, 1970, look at this. We've got Uniform Plumbing Code. A little bit better quality. Things must have been changing a little bit. Um, much better quality binding and, uh, and book production here. 1970 and, uh, whoops, knocking my stack over. We can carry on. 1973, IATMO. 1976, IATMO, right there. There they are. Something new, though, happened in 1978. 1978... ICBO came along, International Conference of Building Officials. They've been around since 1972, writing the Uniform Building Code. But this looks to me to be the very first edition of their plumbing code in 1978. Now, you can see that's IATMO, that's ICBO. So in 78, they start coming in with their plumbing code. Um, now we can see, we'll put that over in this stack. 1979, three years later, IATMO still on their track of producing plumbing codes. Um, but also in 1979, we also have an ICBO plumbing code. Uniform plumbing code, ICBO plumbing code. So apparently a year after this, what looks like kind of a beta version, they produced their regular nice, like professionally fancy looking bound plumbing code. Um, so there we go now, we've got ICBO plumbing code, and we have IATMO plumbing code in 1979. But something different came along in 1982. Three years later, looks like we got some teamwork going on. Now we've got ICBO and IATMO on the same book. So I think this was about it. My understanding, these are the only ICBO plumbing codes before they merged with IATMO and then started producing them together in 1982. Now a side shoot of this around the same years here, is the 1978 BOCA basic plumbing code. This is by a different organization. This is by BOCA, Building Officials and Code Administrators International. This is the oldest BOCA I have. There are There is more history here where BOCA goes further back. 
Also, I believe it was the National Plumbing Code. And I believe there may be some merging that happened between these organizations. I'm not sure. These are the holes I still have to fill in in my history. But nonetheless, around the same time as 82, 78, we've got Boca creating building codes. 78, we got the Boca, or plumbing code. Boca plumbing code 81. I'm missing the 84. So we jump Boca plumbing code 87. Uniform plumbing code was still going on. 85 with ICBO and IATMO and 88 and 91 and we still have both of them together IATMO or ICBO and IATMO for the uniform plumbing code and look 1990 we still have a Boca national plumbing code now notice how the I believe the yeah see the name changed here somewhere in this I'm missing the one in between basic plumbing code and they switched to calling it the national plumbing code so just kind of some interesting stuff there don't know if there was a 93 boca plumbing code but i do know this is the last of the 1991 this is the last time icbo and iatmo were on the book together uh together because come 1994 we've lost iatmo and or I, icbo excuse me and now we're back to just iatmo and that is because we had something new going on. The ICC was starting to form. Now, a lot of people think ICODE started in 2000, but look here, 1995, International Plumbing Code. This is where ICBO right here moved to. Um, after they split from IATMO, producing this last 1991, they moved on and moved over and started working with these guys. And look, Boca. And over here is Boca. So I'm thinking at this same time, there might have been a 93 Boca, I still need to find out, but Boca and ICBO here moved together with Southern Building Code Congress. Uh, Southern Building Code, I do not have any plumbing codes for, but here's an old Southern Building Code um, dwelling house construction of 1976. Maybe Southern Building Codes, SPCCI had plumbing codes, I don't know, still working on that history. So here they are, they all come together in 1995. For the very first, I believe, 1995 International Plumbing Code. Because two years later, we came along with a 97. And look, now we have the ICC logo for the first time here. And we have the three legacies. And then, this is the one everyone's used to seeing and thinking is the first International Plumbing Code. The 2000 International Plumbing Code. To my knowledge, this is when it actually started becoming adopted across the country. And, um, you know, becoming the IPC. Now, currently, IATMO is still producing the Uniform Plumbing Code. I just don't have any of those books, um, any of the new ones starting in the 2000s. Uh, but they are still out on their own doing the plumbing code. So we still have uh, two plumbing code bodies. And then here's just an extra little thing that I really don't know much about. This is one code book. I have a 1992 supplement to the 1990 National Standard Plumbing Code. But this is produced by the National Association of Plumbing heating and cooling contractors. So if that's not confusing, there's the National Standard Plumbing Code by PHCC. There's the National Plumbing Code by the American Society of Mechanical Ears, or Engineers. There's the National Plumbing Code by BOCA 1990 by building officials and code administrators. And of course, then you also had the old basic plumbing code. So a lot of weird interrelations. That's what I know, and that's the story told from my current codebook collection. Please comment, help fill in the blanks, and let's keep history alive. Have a great day.